Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, Karen Norwood Travel. We are headed to Mistletoe State Park this weekend that's in Appling, Georgia. And we're gonna check out some of the trails and some of the parks that are around that area and just see what we can get into. All right, so we made it. We're at Mistletoe State Park in Appling, Georgia. And we actually got a waterfront uh, site, which is kind of nice. It's a little cold for swimming though, so I don't think we'll be doing any swimming. But I'm just kind of showing off our site. The actual site, here, let me back up a little bit here. The actual site is somewhat small. As you can see, there's the picnic table right to our back door. However, it keeps going. We have kind of a long driveway, I guess you could say. And how much, you know, real estate do you really need when you have that for your view? Okay, so this is like our driveway down to our site. And you can see our pickup truck way down there. So it was, it's a little ambitious because it's, it's obviously downhill. I can't, I don't know if y'all can tell that, but it's kind of downhill. So it took a minute to get the camper down in here, but my lovely husband is good at that. So, but yep, yeah, we're all set up and about to see what we can get into. My husband and I usually split duties. He usually does everything us setting up the camper as far as electrical and water and making sure we're level and everything and I handle all the pretty stuff inside of making sure the soaps out and the pillowcases are on and towels are where they need to be and things like that. So fun fact, Mistletoe has 93 campsites with water and electrical hookup. They have three comfort stations with hot showers and of course flushing toilets. There's four walk-in campsites that are available with picnic tables, lantern hooks, and pit privies is what it says. There's also Pioneer Camp also available. They have three backcountry sites on the Rock Dam hiking trail. We found most of the sites to be relatively flat. They're all gravel, so there's no actual paved sites. So, um, but also they seem to give you a, enough space in between to be re relatively private. This campground is located on Clarks Hill Lake, which is actually a 72,000 acre lake. There, it is open for legal fishing throughout the year, and they are rather known for their bass fishing. They've got a dock and three boat launching ramps that are provided. Mistletoe State Park has over 15 miles of shaded nature trails. Several of them are, looked really good. They're not all like nicely paved like this one. They're more of your natural trail that you're used to. Unfortunately, they had just had a prescribed burn, so most of the trails were closed to us during this trip.
Mistletoe State Park has 10 two-bedroom cottages for rent year-round. Four of the structures are log structures that feature large sleeping lofts. They do allow dogs in a couple of the cottages with permission. I believe they said there's a washer and dryer here. And there is. We've got some big sinks and areas. And we're gonna go over to the restroom. And Big shower area. It's just one big. See, so you've got the outside door so that you can shut that and you can still get dressed and everything. Okay, so we discovered there weren't too many um, like sit down restaurants very close by. So we decided to hit the Publix, and my husband has cooked me this beautiful pork chop and some green beans. And then we've got our appetizer is pretzels and cheese. So we are gonna enjoy this wonderful meal. Found this great little hamburger place in Evans, Georgia called Gary's Hamburgers and were they ever yummy. All right, so we were at Mistletoe State Park this weekend, headed home now. Gonna see what else we can get into. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I know this is a little channel, but we're gonna make it grow and have fun making all these camping videos and some you know, low budget vacations that everybody can enjoy. So I'll catch you on the next hike.